Hello everyone, this is Tina from Tiaz's Treasures and today I will be reviewing another five card kits. Um, I figured I had just put out recently comparisons on Pink and Main, Stamps of Life, and Spellbinders card kits, comparing them in the prices and that got a lot of views so I thought I would pull um, another five card kits that I've got and compare those real quick. I'll be doing the Simon Says last so if you are really familiar with Simon Says you can just um, leave after I do the tonic. Well you can leave at any point but I wish you'd stay. So I have got um, Brutus Monroe, Love from Lizzie, uh, Hero Arts, Tonic Craft Kit, and Simon Says. Now, I don't have boxes for Brutus Monroe, Love from Lizzie, or Hero's Arts, and those are older kits. Um, I pulled those from my stash. I don't always get to all my kits, unfortunately, and I've been trying to um, get to my card kits or not to subscribe to as many, and... That doesn't always work out real well, but uh, the Tonic and the Simon Says are the most recent ones that I've received anyway. I believe they're both August boxes. So anyway, let's get to it so this video is not like three hours long. Let me put some of this out of my way, and we will start with Brutus Monroe's kit. Now these are not what comes in every month's kit, but they're kind of indicative of what you're going to get now this kit from Brutus Monroe, um, it is $34.99 with shipping, it is $6.99. So it's $43.73. And I believe that is um, every month, whether you're a subscriber or not. I could be wrong on that one. So anyhow, Brutus Monroe usually comes with uh, they usually come with a really nice sequins kit. You get a good assortment, of like five, uh, half an ounce of sequins per kit, which is a little bit more than other card kits. You always get this fun little enamel dot that ties in with the theme. Uh, this theme this month, I don't have the name of this kit, but it uh, had rockets and astronauts. You get coordinating ribbon with most of the kits. Uh, these little foam stars are kind of new. I don't, they're not in every kit, obviously, but this month had some silver and gold stars. Uh, lately, Brutus Monroe has been putting um, sentiments in, which you can foil or just leave regular, and they've been having the black and the white sentiment strips, and they match, but these are really awesome and they tie into the kit. You also usually get four sets of these really cool cards. Now they're different every month, but you can foil them with like your mink foiler or a laminator, and you usually get two of each foilable card. Uh, this month also came with a Doris uh, embossing folder and it came with card bases, uh, I think five of them. You don't always get this in the kit, but it's a nice little addition. Brutus Monroe throws in um, different things now and then. You're not gonna get the same thing in every kit. They also usually have this huge stamp set, and a lot of times it comes with coordinating dies, which are just wonderful. And as far as the pattern paper, it's a little bit thinner, but that's for, um, I guess the reasoning behind it is it's for layering. So you don't have these huge, um, huge layers. But So you can't really make card bases with it, but it is good for die cutting and doing whatever else you want to do with it. And this month in May, got this gorgeous glitter, glitter sheet, which, um, let's see, I don't know. I have a little writing on my hand there. It's not really shedding. I see a little, little glittery, little glittery. <laughs> so let's put this to the side. I'm gonna have to 
clean up all my mess when we're done, put everything back. So, on to Hero. Hero Arts. Hero Arts is $34.99, uh, $5.75 shipping if you're not a subscriber. Otherwise, shipping is free. And with the Hero Arts kit, if you're a subscriber, you always can add um, free your free add-ons, like pieces that come with the kit that you want to add to complement it. You can get free shipping for those. I'm not sure if you can get free shipping for everything in the store, but I know they're add-ons. You can um, now for this like kit right here. I did get some add-on frame cuts and like some um, different stamps. It all kind of tie into this kit. I'm getting uh, ahead of myself. So this kit is the September 2020 kit, and it came with this nice scene builder, the HeroScapes, uh, with a pumpkin patch and a little scarecrow, and it came with um, some stamps. Hey there, pumpkin. Happy Halloween. It also came with some dies to cut out the fr um, the scene and the little scarecrow and the other thing. A lot of times, Heroes kits come with dies for their huge stamp sets. And this is a landscape or a Heroscape, so you only get the um, outline of it. But anyway, and this kit, month's kit came with some foil in gold, bronze, and copper. And it also came with five ink cubes that you can use when making your little scene, which really comes out nice. I wish um, I had a card to show you because it was really pretty what people were doing with this kit when it came out. I do not know why I didn't get around to this kit. I did get around to some of my add-ons. So anyhow, putting this one to the side. Next, we have Love from Lizzie. Where did I put Lizzie? Ah. I dropped it on the floor. Now, Love from Lizzie. I love these kits. The only thing with these kits is because they're coming out of England, they um, can cost a pretty penny for shipping. They are only 22, what is it, 22 pounds yeah, but that translates into um, a lot more when you add shipping and you convert it into dollars. Their kits usually run about $49 with shipping. Um, as a subscriber, though, you can add anything from their store before this ships out and it will ship for free. So that's one way to uh, save a little bit of money. This is the May kit from Lizzie called Butterfly Wishes. A lot of times her kits will come with coordinating ribbons, um, a stamp set. This one happens to have the butterfly. She usually always has a nice little sequin mix. Um, we've got some cute little butterflies this month. And we've got some jewels this month. Um, this month also came with some decoupage sheets. Uh, these you can pop out and layer as many as you want to with foam tape, or you can use them individually. We've got like five sheets of that. We also have some little rose dies. And Lizzie always gives us um, some dies that coordinate with the kit. They don't always coordinate with the stamp set, but they, uh, go with the theme of the kit. And this month we've got like a little butterfly, a rose, have a lovely day, this uh, little um, frame says, and best wishes. And they've got little butterflies, which ties into that. And we've got a little bit more decoupage sheets. I missed these two. Um, Lizzie usually always gives us a peel off with the kit. In this case, it's a silver stripes, which uh, they really look nice on your cards. Instead of using different mats, you can just use the peel offs in the stripes. This month's kit also came with pattern paper. We always usually get pattern paper 
with her kit. This one is single-sided. Sometimes they're double-sided. Um, the only thing with Lizzie that sometimes annoys me a little bit is she doesn't always say where these papers are from. Sometimes she'll have stuff like um, simple stories or different papers that you're well aware of what they are just by looking at them, but she never will name them. So you kind of have to hunt them down if you want to buy um, things that are like simple story papers that are cheaper in the States that'll coordinate with her kits. So I do always try to find out where her papers are from. And if there's some state side that's going to be cheaper than the exchange rate, I will buy them here to coordinate with the kits. I believe somewhere I may have an 8x8 eight eight, um, set of this. Not 100% sure, but I usually do try to buy a few more sets of paper with Lizzie's um, kits. And I don't always get them from her. Now, Lizzie always comes with some really nice cardstock. It's nice and heavy. And she always includes some white cardstock that is really ultra smooth, alcohol friendly. So we usually get two sheets of that. I'm not seeing the second sheet this month because uh, this is an eggshell. But these are the coordinating pieces of cardstock and so we get the five sheets and a lot of times one of the sheets will be a specialty and like I said it's nice thick you can make card bases out of this or you can layer it up or do whatever you need to do these kits are just really lovely kits I, I really love them a lot I just wish uh, the exchange rate wasn't so lopsided it would be nice if it was cheaper here and uh, we got good deals from having the dollar stronger in England. But alas, that is not what's going on right now. Shoo. Seem to be tripping over my tongue a little bit. Let's put this one to the side. And now we have got tonic. Now tonic is called a craft kit and not a card kit. And the reason that is, is because they include a lot of um, dyes and different, their dyes are not always, um, not always for A2 cards. A lot of times they're like to create boxes or different things like that, which is why every time I think I'm going to drop tonic, they come out with a kit right before I drop them that I was like, ooh, and an on over, and I have to have. So I end up staying with them. So anyhow, let's put this to the side. They have started uh, packaging a little bit differently. They used to just throw everything in the box with a bunch of packing peanuts, but lately they've had this lovely show of it now. You always get a bunch of nouveau, um, nouveau items in your love from our love from Liz, your tonic kits. This month, though, we have got some craft tacky glue. Um, we have some embossing powder, a sample. We have a little cube of uh, nouveau hybrid ink. We have got a full size of nouveau crystal drops. We've got a full size of Nouveau Chalk Mousse. And we have got a full size of Nouveau Glitter. This is really fine glitter. It's really pretty. And they usually do include full sizes of Nouveau items. Uh, their, their mousses and stuff are not always full sizes. Sometimes they are smaller sizes like this. And But... Um, they usually always include either a glitter marker or something along those lines. So I have got like a ton of Nouveau uh, drops just from being in their card kit because it's not unusual for them to have two in a month or whatever. And you really can build up your stash that way. Now this month they happen to have uh, card blanks and envelopes. They don't do that every month, and these are A2 sizes, but I really love when they do it. I do have some um, bigger sizes from them a few months a few months ago. Uh, an A, what is it? I think I have it here. 
some A6 cards that came in a kit like three or four months ago. And see, so you can tell kind of the difference. These will make some good Christmas cards though as well, a little bit bigger. See, I don't clean my desk as much as I should. So, and they come with a little folder and every three months you get a binder that you can put these little folders in. And in these folders, you get your dies and a little stamp, little stamp set. Every month, um, you usually get a little stamp set. They're not huge, but they're, they'll have, it's about three by four stamp set around this size. And you get your dies. And this month, uh, it is a card kit. It is a pop-up card. And we've got, have instructions for it. It's, um, you can do a, pop-up easel card, which is really cool. I am not gonna pull it apart for you, um, but uh, here we go. So you can see the little easel card. This has everything that's in the kit. Um, like I said, they have just changed around how their kits are sent out. So I'm a little bit behind. I think they used to have like a different kind of card. And um, so, I'm getting a little confused talking about this kit. It does always come with a sticker, which I've got every sticker that they've ever sent me, and I just keep in the folder because I'm not sure what I want to do with them yet. I know, I know. Um, Tonic always, always, always has the best paper they send you because it's usually always handmade and specialty. Um, this month... The theme is like gold and lilac, it looks like. We've got this beautiful textured ivory sheet. And then, come on, we've got a lilac texture. We've got a beautiful pearlescent, double-sided. Uh, kind of, I don't know if the camera's picking this up. It's kind of got some swirls. Um, we've got a gold cotton paper um it's got like roses on it with it's embossed already really really pretty i hoard this stuff i don't know why i just can't bring myself to cut it um it's got like this cottony paper with embossed hearts and kind of a gold pearlescent sheen uh we've got an actual iridescent sheet it's kind of like a purpley and a gold, I um, don't know what you'd call that. It's got a lot of texture, though. And so we'll put this back in the little, little folder. Up until recently, all their paper used to come in a um, gold envelope, just a office-sized envelope. So they've really stepped up their game. Now, Tonic kits are $33.00. Um, with $6.95 shipping for a total of $39.95. Now, if you just want a one-off kit that's $39.99, um, you still have to pay for shipping on top of that. If you subscribe to their kit, you get 10% off everything in their store. So that's Tonic. Now, last but not least... We have Simon Says. Now, this just came in the um, day before yesterday, I believe, for me. Ooh, I haven't opened it yet. We have some beautiful Tim Holtz Ideology uh, tape in here. It's a washi tape. Love it. Like I said, I have not opened this kit yet. Some of you probably remember what's in it more than I do. Get out of the bag. Ooh, as things go flying. This month has a glue stick. It's new. Some liquid pearls. These are in copper. We get a handy dandy lollipop orange cream. Awesome. A happy birthday die. Our little kit for stamp timber, which I've already been spending money on. Usually always get three envelopes with Simon Says. This month we have got some um, stickers. I think these might be 
Let's see, I should have pulled this out. Um, yeah, these are Tim Holtz sentiment label stickers. They look like those old fashioned uh, labels you used to use the uh, little tape gun for and you'd move the letters and pop them out. Uh, we get two beautiful stamp sets this month. We normally only get one. Uh, we do not have any dies. Sometimes Simon comes with dies, sometimes it doesn't. But these are absolutely beautiful with all these florals and sentiments. And just, I love it. And we also get some P13 pattern paper, double sided, and some cardstock. This is um, some nice weight cardstock. I believe we have one sheet of, do we have one sheet of Nina, 110 pound? And then we have a bright yellow, a green, and a pink. And this is just, use them as card bases, or you can just use them to layer up. Now, because Simon always gives us plenty of time to know what's on the way, I like to buy some extras with their uh, pattern paper so I can go ahead and uh, not always have to color. So I went ahead and I bought a full pack of the P13 paper and some ephemera. And just love it when I can do that. Now Simon Says Kit is, uh, what do I have? It's $44.60 once you include shipping. $39.99 before shipping. Now all the shipping prices I've said were all stateside. So if you live in Canada or somewhere other than the states, your shipping is going to be a lot more. So anyhow, these are the five card kits. Um, hopefully I shed a little bit of light on what comes with the different kits and you can kind of make up your mind what kits you like and what kits will work for you. If you love dye and die cutting, the tonic kit is definitely something you should try out. At any rate, if you liked this video, uh, please think about subscribing and hitting the like button. So bye-bye for now, everyone.